decirlo, me parece una alegría. Me hace feliz bailar. Y también lloro porque realmente me gusta el ballet. A short which captured a child in his love uh, for ballet. Um, Carlitos is uh, very well disciplined um, but also fun living and well balanced as a child. Um, the filmmakers were sure to show me uh, certain moments that would give me this impression um, capturing Carlitos and all of his angles um, in ballet, spending time with his family, you know spending time outdoors which he says he loves. Um, you know, moments of extreme discipline and then moments of uh, fun-loving freedom. So, um, also the interview captured uh, some sacrifices that he makes for his love of dance and the reasons why he does it. Um, so I think overall, Carlitos as a person uh, is actually very wise for his age. Um, he has it all figured out for the meantime anyways. Um, all around just a sound production. One thing I love so much is how much he loved to dance. It is always, it, it always warms my heart, especially when I see like children with such a deep passion for something because I feel like from young, if you have a passion for something, it is very likely to stay that way throughout your like entire uh, adulthood and just like growing, you know? So I really like that. And I loved how supportive his family was of him and how like you can tell that like it probably wasn't the easiest route for him to take but like his passion and determination to be a dancer and to continue dancing was just like fantastic to see a love note to dance thought the filmmaker really was able to get that message across of carlito's love for this art form and the sacrifices that he needs to make in order to achieve that but how he gets so much more out of dance than he puts in and thought they just did a really nice job in telling that story and did a nice job of kind of making it a, a full journey for this boy. I love the flashbacks of the early video of him when he was a young child already showing promise and now he basically narrates it and tells us about how much it demands of him but how much he loves it and uh, he is obviously very very talented and I'm happy to see him given the opportunity in Cuba and I'm happy to see that his parents are very supportive of his love for dance. It is a lovely film and I have a son in a uh, performance in school so I can totally relate to the hard work and discipline it requires of a young child to do something like this. Well done, very interesting. I was thoroughly impressed. This is a really talented young person um, and I think this little piece here does a good job at sort of uh, letting us in a little bit, see what they're like and uh, yeah, just a nice little snapshot worth checking out. I think this Cuban kid is such an inspiration um, on both having a call and a passion and following your dreams. Um, I love this scene where he's practicing by the mirror. Uh, it was a very deep emotional scene. I really liked it. And in general, this is an amazing story that we can all learn a bit from. It's actually really nice that the piece is not in any way about bullying because unfortunately when we see any individual defy traditional gender roles quote unquote and do something that is inherently traditionally considered to be feminine or masculine um we expect some part of that person's journey as it is told to us so as carlito's journey is told to us in this um in just under five minutes we expect some part of it to talk about prejudice to talk about um, some kind of bullying or pushback. I think it's actually very refreshing that Carlito's story does not have to include that and instead chooses to focus on the support, love, appreciation that he gets from his family and how vital that is to his success as a ballet dancer. I think that's the greatest triumph of this piece.